morning, everybody. Welcome back to another daily vlog. I was not going to vlog today because it's literally going to be a crazy pants day, but I thought, why not? It'll be a fun day for y'all to follow me along as I'm running here and there and everywhere. It's one of those weekends that we have like something the whole day. <laughs> we have something all day Saturday, all day Sunday. Um, it's not my favorite type of weekend. I love we have just nothing and we can just be at home all together. But, you know, there's some Saturdays you just have a lot. So I woke up this morning at like 6 a.m. I got a quick shower, got myself ready. I'm so grateful for Christina for sending me some clothes because if it wasn't for her, I would have had nothing to wear. <laughs> I love this shirt. I'm wearing my white capris with it. And I'm all dressed up to go to the baseball field, not because of the baseball, but because we have a busy day. And if I don't get ready now, I won't have time to. So I'm running out a little bit early before the family leaves. We've got to be at the field in less than an hour. So they're going to come in a few minutes. But we have several things that I need to get at the store before this day gets started. So let me just give you guys like a rundown of what our day is going to entail. Nate has a baseball game, you know, Miracle League. He's been doing that for the last month or so. Last week, his game was canceled. They are going to make that game up. So we have like three more Saturdays of games. And then I think the, the last Saturday or the next Saturday after that is like a party. So really the next month, we're going to be tied up on Saturday mornings. He loves it. Maybe I can get some footage of him at the baseball field. I've got to leave straight from there because we're having like a ladies event at church at the main campus, um, like a luncheon. So that's going to be from like 11 to 2, I think they said. And I'm excited for it, but it's I've got to leave like straight from the ball field. Dave is going to take the kids home. And then as soon as the ladies event is over, I've got to go. We've got to go to a graduation party. This is graduation weekend. And we have some ladies at our church that are graduating from college and they're having a party at our church campus. And so we're going to go support them. And that's one of the reasons I'm leaving before everybody is because I need to go get them a card and get some cash out to put in the card. Um, I was hoping to do this yesterday, but Yesterday, I edited like five videos, and that's all I did all day. Like, I didn't vlog yesterday because I sat at the computer and edited all day long. It was exhausting, but we got it done. Fridays are really turning into a big editing day for me, which I don't mind, but it's just a lot when it piles up that many. So, I'm going to go to Dollar Tree because they have the cheapest cards, and I think they're really good. So, then get some cards, and then I'm going to go to Kroger because as soon as the late, as soon as the party is over, I've got to make a dish for tomorrow's breakfast at church. So someone is bringing some like a savory breakfast casserole and I'm going to make a sweet one. And I found this recipe that's like a croissant chocolate chip casserole bake. It looks really like decadent and delicious, but I need croissants and I need um, another block of cream cheese and a few other things. So I'm going to go to Dollar Tree. I'm going to go to Kroger get that stuff and because Kroger's right on the way to the ball field. Then I'm going to go to the ball field. Then I'm going to go to the ladies event. Then I'm going to go to the graduation party. Then I'm going to come home <laughs> and do the, the casserole. And then I think we won't have anything. I think. So after about 4 or 5 p.m. today, maybe I can just relax. I prepped dinner for us for today ahead of time because I knew it was going to be crazy pants. Although I'm not sure what they're going to have at the ladies event. I may be able to eat part of my leaning green then, but if it's not like plan approved, I'll just, I have some bars and some little crunchers in my bag. So I'll just eat before and just sip on water or coffee or something. That's the only thing about like when we have lunch events and stuff, a lot of times it's not plan approved. And, but if they have salad or they have something like that, I may eat lunch and then not eat dinner. But just in case I made pizza casserole, cauliflower pizza casserole last night. And so we have leftovers. So that is perfect. But anyway, enough talking. I've got my coffee here. I've got my breakfast somewhere in here. I'm having, of course, it's buried in my purse. Chocolate chip peanut butter bar. Dollar Tree, Kroger, and then I'll see you guys at the ball field. But y'all come hang out with me today. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. And it looks like a beautiful day. So, let's do it. I know you've had some pain 
fun it is really starting to get warm though i'm glad that we only have a few more weeks of well i'm not glad that we only have a few more weeks because it's been so much fun but i'm glad it's going to be over before the hot hot part of the year because it was at nine it's either at nine or ten for the youth teams and um it was really starting to get warm as we were getting closer to 10 o'clock but anyway, Nate had so much fun. They had the mascot out, th out there today. And it's the funniest thing because there is this guy that comes. He doesn't have a kid. It looks like he's like a friend of someone's. Um, but he looks identical to my brother. It is like the craziest thing I've ever seen. He came the first week and then the, la the next two weeks he didn't come. And then he came today. And I'm always like trying to like creepily get a picture of him without him noticing because he literally looks just like my brother. It is so weird. Like he has the same manner mannerisms. It is bizarre. So maybe I'll get the courage to actually talk to him <laughs> if he comes again and be like, you look like my brother and show him a picture because it is so weird. Um, but anyway, David is taking the kids back home. I have less than an hour from when I need to be at the ladies event and I don't want to drive all the way home and then have to like pretty much I'd have to leave as soon as I get home. So I'm going to go get a coffee. I'm outside of Panera right now. I'm going to go get a coffee. And then David said he needed more drinks. So I may go back to Kroger and get the drinks. I should have got them when I was there, but I was running real fast in there to get the cream cheese and the croissants that I need. Um, so Kroger is having a really good sale though. And like, I would really like to go back another time where I can get cold stuff. Like they have Nate's chicken on sale. They have uh, chicken breast on sale. Like I need to go back. I just don't know when I'm going to have time before their sale is over. We have something, like I said, every day, David is busy on Monday and Tuesday. I don't know if I'll be able to go before Wednesday. So maybe I could go tonight after all of this, but I know I'm going to be too tired. I'm not going to want to. So I may just go get his coat, his drinks. He likes the Kroger um, sodas, and they're three for 12 right now, which they usually are most of the time. Um, they have name brand drinks, buy two, get two free, which ends up being like five or four packs for 20 bucks. But he likes the three for 12 one. Like he likes the Kroger ones. They're a little bit cheaper. They're $4 a piece as opposed to $5 a piece. So, um, I'm just going to get those, but I'm going to get me a coffee and then I will check in with you guys in a little while. The kids are begging to go to Chick-fil-A and play on the play place. Nate is too big for the play place, but, um, he loves Chick to eat at Chick-fil-A. So we've promised them after all of our events today that we'll go to Chick-fil-A at dinner time and let them play and let Nate eat Chick-fil-A and all of that. So my day is just getting a little bit longer. <laughs> It's good. It's a good thing. Um, and I started this new book by um, Mary Kubica. It's called, um, what's it called? Anyway, all I want to do is go home and read it. That's all I want to do is go home and read this book. She's Not Sorry. It's her new one, I think. It is so good so far. So I don't know if I'm going to have time to read any of it today, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to get my coffee. I'm going to get back to Kroger, get a couple things, and then I'm going to go to the ladies event, and then we're going to go to the graduation party, and I will see you guys back when I see you. 
the risk of looking super weird over here at Kroger. I wanted to show you guys the little deals I got today. $20.97 with tax and everything. So I got three packs of Coke Zero, Kroger Coke Zero. We really like the, um, it's like Coke Zero with Cherry Dupe. And then Diet Dr. Pepper Zero. And then these chips were $1.49. So were big tortillas, but they were out of tortillas. I always like to keep these for like church events. Um, if I'm bringing some sort of dip to a ladies event or something, it's just good to have these. We're not really eating them right now, but it's a good price, $1.49. So I got the rounds and the restaurant style thin and crispy. And then they had raspberries and blackberries, a dollar. $25, $1.49, I can't remember, something like that. So I got blackberries and raspberries. That's like such a good treat for Lucy. She loves them, but they're usually so expensive. And then I got some bananas. So I think for all of that, less than $21, so right about $21, that is pretty good. I love it. So I have just a few minutes before I have to be at the church. Um, that was such a good quick run into Croker. Croker is busy today. Saturday morning, it's like 1030. It is super busy, but I got in and got out. I'd like to be able to go back. Chicken is $1.99 a pound for, chin for chicken breasts, if I can talk. Nate's chicken nuggets and like the dino nuggets and all that's $4.99, which is a pretty good price. Um, there's a few other cold things that and like we need milk, but I cannot buy anything cold right now and have to figure out where to store it until I can get home. So maybe I can stop by. We're going to at least have to stop by tomorrow and get some milk. I just am not going to have a lot of time to shop. But anyway, I'm going to go to the ladies event. I always get like a little bit nervous, like not going to lie. I still don't know a lot of the ladies that well. Um, I'm getting to know them, but it's really hard. Like I've told you guys this, we've moved a lot and it's so hard to constantly feel like you're starting at from scratch. We are starting like from scratch, making friends. Like you meet a lot of people, you feel comfortable and then um, you move and then all of a sudden you're the new person again. And it's very much like, it feels like high school. <laughs> I was new when, uh, when I moved, um, changed schools in, in high school. This is exactly how it feels. And we have been here a year. This weekend, last year, is a year, is a weekend that we moved. And it's getting better. Like, I am getting to meet people and connect with people, but it's slow go because a lot of times we're not at the same campuses as some of the other people. And the people that go to our church or our campus, I know really well. And events that are at the main campus, I just struggle to like, maintain like just meet people and, ma and make friendships and everybody already has friendships so it's kind of hard to get in there so here is like a little pep talk to you if you're in a similar place where you're like I do not have friends it's hard sometimes when you don't feel like you have friends to go to events go be the new person at church go to a mom's group go to a school function it is so hard to feel like you don't have friends but that is the way you're going to make friends is just make yourself go even if like you feel a little bit uncomfortable even if you feel like it's like the you know you're the new person at school I still feel that like that and we're a year in this it just takes a while and it just takes time so I always get a little bit nervous before I am not extroverted at all and so it's really hard for me to put myself out there so we're going to do this together. It's going to be a good time. Um, so I'll see you guys after. We got done with the ladies event. I had to leave a little bit early because it was going a little late. And we have like 15 minutes before the party is going to be over. So I'm sitting outside of the party waiting on my family to get here. And um, <laughs> we're like cutting it so, so close. It has been a crazy day. I have like a slight headache. But we're going to, we're almost at the finish line this and then we're gonna take them to Chick-fil-A and then I've got to make the croissant bake so I will show you guys how I make that next guys I can't do anything without making the giant mess I dropped some eggs on the floor that was no fun to clean up um but here it is <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be good um I'm gonna put some foil on top and let it sit overnight and then I'll bake this in the morning I mean how can you go wrong with cream cheese croissants chocolate chips eggs milk like it's gonna be good um not healthy like I will not be eating this but 
you know, special treat for everybody else. All right, you guys, it's now 6.30. Um, I am so tired. It has been a great day, very busy day, but exhausting day. <laughs> Being gone from like before 8 in the morning to like 5.30, uh, going straight the whole time, that's a lot. Uh, especially for a Saturday when we're usually home. But tomorrow's going to be just as busy. We got church, a lunch, and church again. So I'm going to just try to rest a little bit. David's outside with uh, Mark and Lucy letting them play for a little while. It'll be dark here in about an hour. What do you need? Layla thinks she needs me to hold her because she hasn't seen me all day. She's just so mistreated. Daddy was here. He held you. She said it's not a shame. So anyway... Got that casserole in the fridge. It looks really good. And we're just going to hang out. I've got laundry going. I'm going to sit and read my book. Just chill. So I will see you guys back in a little bit. We'll finish out this vlog. I feel so worn out. Oh my gosh. Um, by the way, I wanted to say, I mentioned that I switched out my contact solution and I was having all these issues with my contacts. It has gotten much better. So I do think the new solution and getting rid of the old one helped. It's still not perfect though. So I think the other part of it is definitely allergies, but um, I'm very thankful for that. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I feel like this weekend is just gonna, there's weekends that are restful <laughs> and there's weekends that are not, um, but it's crazy. Like I cannot believe we've already been here a year. That is crazy. And just looking back at where we were last year, uh, it was so funny. I was getting Nate, and I didn't tell Nate like it's been a year or anything. But I was getting him out of the bath today, and he said, um, I'm really tired of Arkansas. <laughs> I'm ready to move to a new place. I was like, what? Where do you want to move? And he said, California. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, let's not. Like, I... Do not want to move anytime soon. Um, I don't necessarily love the climate of Arkansas and the bugs of Arkansas, but moving, <laughs> like I talked about, starting over again with all new friends and all new doctors and all new schools and all of that, it is so hard. It is so hard, um, but it is starting to feel more and more comfortable here um, as we're meeting more people and growing our relationships and and the church is growing and all that so that is very exciting I still feel like I'm kind of spinning a bunch of different plates all at once and trying to keep everything balanced but you know I love how the Bible says and Jesus says come to me all ye who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. I love that scripture of the Bible because I think so many times we try to do stuff in our own strength and we fail because we are not meant to do any everything on our own strength. We're not meant to do anything in our own strength because in our weakness, he is made strong. And I feel very weak today. I feel very tired. Um, anyway, I ironed David's shirt. That's what's hanging up back there. That's why it's hanging as we're trying to keep it from wrinkling. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go to sleep while I can tomorrow's a whole nother day so this next week that's coming up is going to be a little bit crazy as we're getting ready for mother's day i have a bunch of different projects in the works to make mother's day as special as it can be um so anyway you guys will hear more about that but right now i'm gonna go to bed i love you all thank you for spending our busy saturday with us We'll see you guys later. If you liked today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to connect with you. I'd love to have you subscribe so you can follow along on our journey. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.